So jumping right in, I just am putting a control on the parts and then I'm going to separate it with a rat tail comb. This just helps make the parts really defined and crisp. Okay, so to start off this first braid that you see, I'm just going to put edge control on the part and then split it in half horizontally. This helps with like grip because if I try to like grip it all at once, it's going to be really loose. So that's why I split it in half. To make the braid, I just split it into like a two-thirds piece and then a one-thirds piece and then I cross over the one-thirds piece over the two-thirds to make it like even. Then I'm just braiding like normal, kind of like a cornrow a little bit because like the part is sort of big so that's like the best way to grip and two more pieces of hair that's like the same size of the hair that i started off with this just helps to like maintain the thickness overall so now i'm just going to continue braiding like normal and in a few seconds i'm going to show you guys what to do when your braid starts to thin out because that's just what happens when you braid so as you can see one piece is significantly smaller than the other so i just took a small piece from the biggest section and then added it to the smaller one so that it can maintain thickness and then not get too skinny another thing you can do is just go on and add hair which is what i'm going to be doing in a few seconds adding hair just helps keep the thickness and so you won't have to be borrowing from every piece every time because then it's eventually going to get very skinny on all of them and you want to maintain the thickness so just add more hair but the hair that you add should be very small like you don't want to add a big piece like how you did in the beginning so I'm just adding smaller pieces of hair so that it doesn't become too big like what you want to do here is just maintain the thickness adding more hair can also like make it longer overall so if you feel like you know you want it to be a little bit longer just add some more hair like mid braid so I'm gonna show you guys this a couple more times but I'm just repeating the same process that you saw in the beginning I just wanted to come back and address whatever I was putting on my hair that's edge control and it just helps with frizzy ends whenever you're braiding to tuck them in and just have an overall neater look so if you notice that when you're braiding your ends are like frizzy and sticking out, try putting edge control on it and it'll help them lay down. So here I'm just dipping my ends in hot water. This helps so that the hair isn't so stiff because this is like synthetic. So it can get a little, I can get a bit stiff. So this just helps with mobility and all that stuff. I just boiled hot water and now I'm dipping my ends into it and I'm going to do that for my entire head. Hey guys, so this is the end result. Um, I wasn't able to film myself doing the beads, which is like the most important part of the video, but this is the end look. So yeah, if you like this video, if you learned something, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!